Hello, this is Hope from Trifle Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to address a comment that someone made. Let me bring it up here. I did a tutorial on this a while ago called uh, the Blender Quick Tip easily and quickly change the pivot point of any model. And if you scroll down in the comments, I got this comment probably some hours ago, which was from Murgrabia Beck. I think I'm pronouncing that properly. This is wow, three minutes to explain such a complicated feature. You know how to do this in Maya. Control P and you're done. Gee, who is designing this software? Yeah, Blender does have some, some challenges sometimes when it comes to uh, some easily done situations which seem to have kind of a little bit complex um, solutions, but <clears throat> well, look at it. All 3D software is like that, but just to kind of help out, uh, let me pull that up again, Morgrabia, uh, there's an add-on that actually does it a lot easier than just Control P. And it does a lot more than just uh, just the pivot point. It's called the Friendly Pivot Add-on. I'll leave a link of that in the description below this video. And once you've downloaded it onto your computer or your system, it's just the same process. Go to Edit, Preferences, Install, navigate to where you've installed it. Let me type in friendly, and there it is. Put a check in the box, and it's activated. Now it's not going to appear anywhere over here at all in your toolbox. It appears uh, in the keyboard shortcuts. And in the keyboard shortcuts, there are a lot of options. It's, it's highly customizable. Let me drop that down. You can change the keyboard shortcuts for activating it. And there are a lot of options here. And this is kind of an older version of it, but I think the developer has actually um, added more features to it. But this version for me works fine. I don't have an issue with it at all. It works great. But once you've installed it and it's activated, it's just really simple. It works in object mode and it works in uh, edit mode. Just hold down D on your keyboard and you have all your options here. Left mouse button set the ori orientation real mouse button set the cursor I'm just doing like an intro to this it's not a full-fledged tutorial it's just an intro to it uh, hold down S set the orientation and so on and so forth it's got all these options here but in order to change the pivot point as you hover your mouse around your object once you have chosen where you'd like the object to be you just left click and it sets the pivot point right there initially the pivot point was at the middle but once we've held down D, we've chosen the spot where we want the uh, pivot point to be in terms of the origin of the object. We just left click on our mouse button. Is it left click? No, it's right click. Yeah, right click. Sorry about that. You right click on it. And it changes the pivot point to whatever face uh, the uh, cur cursor lands on. And in object mode or edit mode, it's the same thing. Press tab. Hold down D again same procedure hover around where you want your uh, origin point to be right click and there it is there's all the time hold down D right click and this is just a just a bit of just a tip of the iceberg in terms of what the add-on can do it can do a lot more than this but I'm just using it to as an introduction to show you guys how you can use it to choose a pivot point on your object. I know Maya's control P and Blender with the friendly pivot add on, it's just D. So, yeah, that's today's Blender quick tip. And hopefully, this is helpful for, let me pull up the name again, Mugrabia. So, if you, if you, if you ever want to use uh, Blender Mugrabia, just download this add on. It's not free, you have to purchase it. Just download it onto Blender and you just use it, go from there. And it does a lot more than just uh, choose a pivot point. Hopefully those of you who have been watching this tutorial have learned something from it. I hope so. And once again, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. Those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.